Hey guys, it's Brian from Talking Nonsense with Brian. Today we're going to discuss how to bring some fun stuff on a cruise. Now I know I've talked about flying and uh, going on the airplane and how to get uh, some liquor on the airplane. If you remember, the best way I like to do it is get yourself a Ziploc bag and a few of these mini bottles. They're all under four ounces so you fill them up with whatever you'd like. I usually like to do vodka. So I'll fill these up. You put as many as you want in a Ziploc bag and then it uh, goes right through uh, TSA. Everything's under four ounces so they can't say anything to you. The tricky part is once you get it past TSA into the terminal, what you want to do is pick yourself up a mixer either at the bar or get a cup of ice with some soda water and a lime. What I usually do is uh, since I get the vodka, I'll get like a lemonade or a Gatorade or something like that in the gift shop. And then uh, either right before I get on the plane, I'll, I'll pour the Gatorade or the vodka into the Gatorade, have it mixed up. That way when you're bored, it looks like you just have a Gatorade from the gift shop. Um, if you wait till you're on the plane, best time to uh, mix up the cocktail is when you're taxiing out to the runway and the flight attendants have buckled themselves into the seats and can't get up and yell at you because they're the ones that are going to catch you and they're the ones that are going to get mad at you. TSA doesn't care. It's the flight attendants on the flight that will be looking for this stuff. So try to keep it hidden as much as possible uh, to enjoy the flight. Now, what today we're going to talk about is going on a cruise. And some of us like to party on a cruise. And, for instance, uh, some packages, uh, if you buy a, a, a drink card, uh, they only give you up to 15 drinks a day. And once you're done with those 15 drinks... You're on your own. Or you're either paying or they cut you off. Uh, so a lot of people like to try to sneak a little extra booze in there. I know for a fact that uh, they allow you one bottle of wine per person. So on my carry-on, I'll always bring a bottle of wine and I put it right up on top so they can see it. Um, one reason I do that is because usually I'm going to be hiding something underneath it. They've got a thing called the Rum Runner Cruise Kit, which you can buy on Amazon for like 27 bucks or something like that. And it's a bunch of different flasks. You get, uh, I think, four 32-ounce flasks, four 16-ounce, and four 8-ounce flasks. So uh, the trick is you want to fill up these flasks because the guys there are real professionals. They're looking uh, when, they, when they get a flask or something like that or they see something on the radar when your luggage is going through, they're looking for bubbles. So best thing you can do is fill your flask all the way up, push the vodka right up to the top and put the cap on so there's zero air in there. So if you can see, there's not a lot of bubbles going around. Although it looked like one bubble went there, so I'm gonna have to redo it. So you can do, this is the 16 ouncer. This is gonna be the eight ouncer. And these are great. Once you're on board, you can just fit them in your pocket and go around and do whatever you want with it. Uh, so the Rum Runner Cruise Kit is always a good way to do it. A lot of people like to empty like shampoo bottles or Listerine bottles, fill it up with like uh, whatever liquor they're drinking and put some food color in, but they're totally looking for that. It's not their first rodeo there, so you really want to try to sneak it in. What I like to do is take the flask and wrap it tightly in a pair of jeans or something like that so there's no signature coming up. And like I said, I'll lay the bottle of wine on top so when it goes to the, the radar, it's going to see the bottle of wine, but right below it, I'm going to have, it's going to sneak in the, uh, the flask, hopefully, if it works. Now, this weekend, I'm going to be trying something totally different, and we'll have to stay tuned to see if it works. So I, I wanted to bring some fireball and individual shots, because we've got about 40 friends going on this cruise, and it's going to be a pretty big party, and everybody likes to have a good time, and... Who doesn't like a bunch of fireball shots? So I went to the store the other day and I found this container. First one was like a bucket of fireball. I, like, eh, I can't bring that on. Uh, then there was like a regular box. I was like, well, maybe I'll wrap it up in wrapping paper and sneak it on. But still not too good. So then I saw this one thing. It's a literally like a, a golf iron, like a nine iron of fireball. Take this thing out. So I'm wrapping it up, decking it all up like it's somebody's birthday party, 
gonna see if I can sneak it on through the fireballs, all through the tubes and everything, all the little individually wrapped things. So the challenge this weekend is gonna be to get this sucker through on the first try. So I'm gonna put it with my carry-on and see if I can sneak it on through. That way, you know if you have it right off the bat. So if you put stuff in your checked luggage, you gotta wait around for a few hours and see if you get that call and a tap on the shoulder, come down to the uh, bowels of the ship where they go through and make you feel bad for trying to sneak on the uh, liquor that they found on you. But anyways, also uh, CBD cookies are good to sneak on. Just saying. Anyways, uh, hope you like uh, found this in, uh, video interesting or amusing. Also, if you're looking to have some good fun, it's always fun to, you know, deck out and wear some fun shirts or fun hat or something like that. This shirt I got is a crowd favorite. What I like to do is sneak up, get a picture with a girl right at the last second. I undo the button. They take the picture. Bam. Nobody knows anything. A lot of laughs. It's a crowd favorite. Hope you like this video. If so, please like, subscribe, and share. And peace out from Talking Nonsense with Brian.